Hello, so today I'll show you how you can automate your personalized chatbot, add the data onto Google Sheets, create a draft from that, and then get a notification through Telegram to say that you have a new lead. Let me show you exactly what it does. Okay, so let's test it out. Let's press run, run test. So here it asks for the name. My name is Samuel. Sam at gmail.com. That's the email. API called successfully triggered. Everything worked. Normally I receive the notification on my phone. Don't know if you can see it. There you go. And then also it got added to the Google Sheets and it created a draft on Google on Gmail. There you go, SAML, and then the draft, let's refresh it, there you go, created the draft. So let me show you step by step how you can also do that. Okay, great, so let me show you guys how to do the automation step by step. So the automation to Google Sheets, Gmail, and then the Telegram bot. What we'll do is we'll delete, we'll delete everything first. And then I'll start by by the basics. Um, so what you're going to do is that you're going to create a scenario. Well, first you're going to create a make.com account. The link will be below where you can sign up and get free stuff. And then you're going to create a scenario. In that scenario, you're going to start with a webhook. You're going to click on a custom webhook. Then you're going to add your hook. We'll do that after. Then the next module will be the Google Sheets. Add a row. We'll also connect that after, and then we're going to select Gmail, create a draft, and then we will select Telegram bot. So just so you know, for the Telegram bot, it will be a little bit more complex. I'll have to go on my phone and show a screen recording of how to do it. Um, but for the two other ones, it's it's pretty it's it's fairly simple. So um, so yeah, I don't know why it's zooming in like that. Uh, but yeah, so what you're going to do is you're going to first create your webhook. So how you do that is you create add, and then here we're going to add our webhook. We're going to call it just example, and then you're going to click save. Then this will be the link that you'll be using um, to connect the AP API. So copy that link. You don't want to share this link because other people can then connect to your chatbot and then it can mess it up. For for this video, I'll just share you the link and then I'll delete it later, but yeah, it's fine. So then you copy it and what you're going to do here is you're going to add a new block and you're going to, uh, the API block, and you're going to place it, me I like placing it after when it captures the user's first name and the email because it doesn't make sense to m put it before. You're going to also put on post. What get means and post, get means it, it will get information from the webhook, post it will post information to the webhook, so it will provide information. Once you have that, you'll paste the webhook link, and then you'll go in body and you'll add the different data points that you wanted to collect. First one will be the first name, and then you'll enter the variable first name. Then the second one will be the email. There you go. What we can do, um, yeah. So once that's done, then you're going to just link the the blocks together. Uh, you what you could do is with the fail is let's say it doesn't work out, then you can ask the user if they want to try again. Me, I won't put that as an as an option because it it will work. Um, but yeah, you can you can put that option as well. Okay. So what we could do first is see if the webhook works. Um, so let's just press OK and let's just run once um, and we can test it here. So we can send a request. Let's put alessandro a at gmail.com. So what this will do, it will test the webhook, see if it actually works and request. And as you can see, it's OK, it worked. And, um, and yeah, so the Gmail is not connected and the Google Sheets is not, so it's normal that that didn't work. Okay, so now the next step will be to connect the Google Sheets. So you connect it to your Gmail account. After that, you're going to select the spreadsheet ID. So me, I'll just select this one, don't books. So it's, it's from this. 
Um, let's just delete all that. And then you're going to select the sheet name. The sheet name is below here where it says sheet 1. Then after that in the first name, um, so you have to test the webhook first and then you can add the information. But basically, so now that that's done, we will test it out. So I'll actually undo this one to, to test it. Unlink. Let's see if it's connected to the Google Sheets. Run once. Let's run a test. So these are just it's just a personal chatbot for, for a bookstore, so it's asking the opening hours and then basically how it collects the data from the visitor cr creating the inquiry is by asking their name uh, if they want a 25% discount asking the general question. So let's say my name is Sam. Email is sam at gmail.com. Okay, great. It worked. Now we go here. In the Google Sheets, we're going to select, we're going to put the variable on the first name variable, and then we're going to put the email in the email variable. Click OK. Let's run it again and let's test it again. See if it works. Now it's supposed to put the data here. So opening hours. Twenty five percent discount code. My name is Alex. My email is Alex at gmail dot com. It's gonna take that information, store it into the Google um, Sheets. And there you go, it's stored it. Perfect. Okay, now the next step w is that it creates a draft. So let's just delete all of these drafts. So then we have everything, um, everything done. Okay, so how do you do this? Um, so you will have to connect your Gmail account first. After that, you're going to choose me. It will be the draft folder because that's where drafts go. <laughs> Then two, you're going to put the email address, so you can put the email address variable. And then you can create your own sub subject. So in this case, it will be uh, don't books, 25% discount code generated just for you. You could even put, if you want to personalize it even more, just for first name. And then in the content, this is the text that is going to be written, hello. Thank you for your interest in um, using Don Books as your book supplier. As promised, here is your 25% discount code. And then you can put you have 24 hours to use it. Happy reading. Best. Whatever. And then here you can actually put their name as well. Hello. And then you can press OK. Normally now it's going to create a draft. So let's run it again. Run once. Opening hours. I want my 25% discount code. My name is Max. Max at gmail.com. Perfect. API call successfully triggered. Let's see if everything worked. Everything worked out. It added it in the Google Sheets and it created the draft. Let's just refresh. There you go. Boom. Perfect. Now what this could be used for is, uh, let's say, I don't know, let's say it's for Don Books and they want to uh, verify the information that's being asked and they, they, want to, um, gener they, they want to generate leads. They want to get the email and the first names of visitors that use the chatbot. This would be a way to do it. And then before sending the email, they want a sales rep to actually verify it um, to see if everything's correct. Um, so that's why it goes in the draft. So then the salesperson can then verify it and then send it. 
of course you can have it automated where it just sends it directly me I think it's best to have it as a draft in case something goes wrong normally nothing is supposed to go wrong but it's just a good way to to have it um, yeah so that's what I would use it for now what about telegram how to connect that so this is a little bit more complex um, but honestly it's not that it's not that hard once you know it so what you have to do is that you have to connect your telegram account so how you do that is let's say you put the connection name and the token will be um, on telegram so I'll show you uh, right now um, how to do that on your phone how to get the token okay so what you're going to do is you're going to send the message and you're going to search bot father once you have find, found that you create start then you're going to create um, slash my new bot here you need a personalized name I'm just going to call it webhook uh, webhook dog bot just because most of the usernames are taken um, now I have to choose a username where it has bot at the end webhook dog bot there you go um, so yeah so there you go now you are going to receive a token and this is the after the API you're going to input that in the in the token um, where we ask for the token on on the make.com website so once that da once that's done then you add your token um, then the chat ID what you have to do is you have to create um, you have to create a new group and you have to add your bot in the group it's very simple just create a group um, if you don't know how to create a group then just search it on Google it's, it's very simple I'm not going to explain it in this video uh, but then after that you have to put the username of the group here so me my username of the group is this test bot then the text that it will say well uh, the purpose of this telegram bot is so that it informs the person when a new lead comes in so it will be like new lead details like you could put like you have a new lead details and then there you put the first name and then you put the email and that's it after that you just press ok and now let's test it so if everything works out um, I'll get a notification on my phone so let's run it API successfully triggered everything worked and normally I got a notification on my phone there you go just arrived from testbot let's check for the Google Sheets Ines and then for the draft done perfect so that's how you automate um, your personalized chatbot to Google Sheets to Gmail and then to Telegram hopefully this provides you any value if you have any qu any questions please just send me a dm on one of my socials they'll be in the description my twitter is um, it's in my description and then my instagram is just alessandro colford you can also send me an email which is in my description it's alessandro at calca solutions with an s at the end dot com